Hi and hello everybody. Today in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you as to how you can make your own cable with which you can use the OTG function as well as charge your device simultaneously. This cable can be used with uh, both Windows as well as Android devices. So for this, you just need four components. First, a micro USB mail with the wires attached to it. I'll just explain it to you as to how you need to do this but first when you get a micro usb melee make sure you have 5 pins in it and then of course a normal usb a cable or you can just snap out a one half of a usb male to female converter and you you can have a usb female port and a usb male port and most importantly a switch a dpdt switch double pole double throw also called as two pole two way switch or 2p 2t switch which means two pole two way or two pole two throw 2p 2t is called as two pole two throw it is also called as two pole two way 2p 2w or dpdt in the screen i have listed all the possible names of the switch it has two poles which means uh, two center pins and four other pins in all this switch is expected to have six pins uh, the center pin is common to the both the corner pins so you need this this uh, two pole two way or uh, dpdt switch so to get started first connect uh, the wires to your usb melee so if you take a look at the cable this way have the USB male pin facing you this way you can see three pins on the top and two at the bottom the, the pins are one three and five and when you flip it it is two and four two on your right and four on your left when you look this way it is one on your left three in the center and five on your right so there is a USB code which has wires according to their pins. So red is generally pin number one and white is pin number two. Green is pin number three. Black is pin number five and only micro USB has a pin number four also called as the ID pin. You can uh, attach any wire for your reference. I have attached a black wire with a white tape for my reference here. So when you solder uh, these five wires to your micro USB melee, make sure they are not shorted to each other. You can check for continuity using a multimeter on these terminals here. So I'll just uh, give you a closer look. You can see uh, red is here, green is in the middle and black is at the corner. Make sure you do not short all these pins. And if you want, you can just add a dab of hot glue here. So once this is done, you should basically have five wires coming out of your USB melee. And so let's get started with the connections. What you need to do is attach all the positives together. Attach all the uh, red wires of the female, male and the micro USB and solder it together. I have soldered all the red wires together. Next step is to solder all the white wires together. This is also called as the D minus. White is also called the D minus. Red is the positive and white is the D minus. Solder all the D minus wires together. I have soldered all the white wires together. Next step is to solder all the black wires together. Leave out the uh, wire coming from the fourth pin of your micro USB or the ID pin. So just leave out this alone and solder all the ground wires together. That is the ground of the USB male A, USB female and your micro USB. So solder all the ground wires together. So now we have soldered all the white wires or the D minus together the positive or the red wires together and the ground wires together. So we right now do not have to touch the white and the red wires. So I'll add some tape to it. 
you can add a dab of uh, hot glue or something i'll just add a bit of paper tape to it okay so now we are left with the ground wire bundled together the id wire and the four green wires so what you need to do is solder the uh, green wire from the micro usb main to the center pin over here and uh, two other green wires on either ends As you can see now I have soldered the green wires. The center green wire is from the USB male A. The one on to your right is from uh, USB female and one on to your left is from male USB. Now the second part is to solder the bunch of uh, ground wires to the center pin. And then the ID pin will go on the opposite corner of your uh, green wire of your uh, USB female so if you have connected your USB female on your right the same pin behind it should be your ID pin so now let us go ahead and solder the black pin to the center of the switch as you can see now I have connected the bunch of uh, black wires to the center pin of the switch and on the other side we have the green wire from the USB female the center pin goes to the D plus of the micro USB and the other one is the D plus from the USB male A and now only we have two pins vacant over here one on our left and one on to our right here say suppose here if you have connected the USB D plus uh, cable from your uh, USB female the exactly opposite side should have the ID pin from our uh, micro USB male A. So all our soldering work is done. Uh, I'll just repeat uh, the wiring pattern once more for just for the sake of reference. As you can see here there are totally six pins in the switch three in the front and uh, three in the back. So the center pin should have the D plus or the green wire from the USB micro USB male A and on to your uh, right you have the D plus wire from your USB female the, that is uh, where you plug in your uh, OTG device and then on to your left you have the USB uh, D plus from your male A so this is where uh, to which you connect your charger so when you just uh, turn it over the center pin has the bunch of ground wires the ground wires from the micro USB male A, USB male A and the USB female together shorted onto the center pin and then on to your uh, left you have the ID pin or the uh, wire from pin number 4 of your micro USB male A so this is a very crude way of doing the wiring there are better ways actually to give it a better look or finish i suggest you do it very slowly and carefully so this part is done so let's get to testing it in the cable that we made just now the switch was very small and inconvenient to operate so i have what i have here is a uh, very old uh, cable that we, i made but with a bigger switch Okay, so let me just explain as to how it works. 
um, right now if you see here the tablet is not charging so first I'll insert the micro USB port into it I have my charger connected here to power the USB so let me collect the USB mail A into the charger I have enclosed the wiring diagram of the entire setup so you can just take a look if you see here now the tablet has started to charge U USB uh, let me connect a USB mic uh, stick into the female port as soon as I connect the USB toggle the switch in the opposite direction now you could hear that the tablet has recognized the USB and it has automatically opened the USB drive and if you see here it is charging as well simultaneously charging as well so this is how it works I hope you find this uh, video very informative and useful and if you feel so please subscribe for more such videos. Thank you.